Hi guys, it's Carrie with Rock and Jew Farm, and today I have got. Well, that's right. Baloo was telling you we've got tons of stuff to do today on the farm. I've got to replant uh, some seeds that just didn't want to work. Green beans and me just don't, we don't mesh. Uh, bear, that's enough, I know. I told them we're busy. I told them we're busy, I know. Everybody's trying to tell y'all we're busy today, we are. So anyway, I need to replant my green beans, squash, zucchini, summer squash, and I wanna add some more sweet peas. And then I need to up pot all of my stuff that is growing in their seed starting trays in the laundry room, scrapbooking room, and the greenhouse. So I've got lots of stuff to do today because why? We have a baby coming Thursday and we are heading out of town to be with my son and my daughter-in-law or soon to be daughter-in-law. We have baby Lena coming and I've got to get this place so that whoever's watching it doesn't have so much to worry about and just keep everything organized so that's real easy for them to take care of and so we're starting today on that and so let's get started because I've got tons to do. Okay guys now I am going to let's see one two three four in bed four I'm going to go ahead and put out my onions. Um, we might have a couple of cooler days coming up but I don't think we're going to have like a deep deep chill we might have a little bit of a frost i think that they'll be able to handle it but i'm going to go ahead and get them out of my greenhouse and give me some more um space in my greenhouse so these right here are texas early onions grand i guess um i think one of the, i think two of the sets of onions i got for long long day and I'm intermittent day. So that just means that my bulb on my onions are just gonna be a little bit smaller than the size that they actually could be. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these out here. It's okay, it's fine. Next year I'll be more um, vigilant about reading better and realizing um, that I got the wrong onions for intermittent long day and short day or neutral day. Um, so we've got three sets of onions like this and they're all different so I'm just going to sit here and put my onions in and then keep working on the greenhouse and trying to get it emptied and everything that's in a pot or something that needs to be up potted up potted because it's got to be done and our last frost day is April 19th which is only two weeks away um I know we'll have another frost before then it's Arkansas we always do but I'm going to go ahead and do my onions today because, like I said, we have a baby coming and I got to get stuff done. Okay, guys. So, you saw how close I planted these together. So, all I'm going to do is just kind of wiggle them apart and they're going to fall apart. And then you're going to have individual onion starts. So, just pull them apart real easy and you still have your... Um, roots and you'll be able to plant and you'll just plant to the white spots the white part here or i'm sorry up here and that's all you do got my start Yeah, that's probably a little close, but I'm not worried about that. Oh, 
Okay. And we'll just continue that all the way down. So I just used my finger and made a little hole. And I'm just going to put my onion start in the hole and then make sure that it's not too deep. Put it in, press the roots down, and that's what I'm doing. Okay guys, been busy today. <laughs> Blue. Been busy today. I'm up potting all of my seed starts into larger pots. As you can see here, I'm putting them in a three inch pot. This is cilantro. And um, so I've got lots of that. I've got some dill. Um, you can see right here, dill and some more cilantro that needs to be up potted. So I am in the process of doing that do is when I get my um, little, um, let's see, this one that they're in right here. And yes, these do fall apart like the, um, what are they? The, I don't know what those are. I can't remember right now. Well, you know, sometimes you just have a brain, just whatever, but I'm just pulling it out. And then what I'm going to do is just get in my pot. And all I'm going to do is make a little hole in there. And I'm getting my root ball. Sticking my root ball in there. Down inside there. And then I'm going to just get some soil. And put some soil on it. And then I just kind of shake it. And then just kind of pull that around to my other... Plant comes up and give it a little push. Tap, tap, tap. And then there we go. I've up powdered some cilantro and then I'm going to put it right here. And these are great for these um, three inch peat pots. I bought these at the Dollar Tree and I mean, I can get nine of these three inch peat pots in here and they fit perfectly. They don't wobble or anything. So these are perfect and they fit really well in the greenhouse on the uh, shelves in the greenhouse. So I really like that. I might have to go back to the Dollar Tree and get some more because I have a lot of stuff that I have to up pot. Like I said, it's going to be very, very busy the next couple of days. <laughs> you can tell I have a, gr a grandbaby, huh? I've got grandbaby stuff everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to have another one Thursday. Yay! Okay, so let me finish up at potting these. And then I'm going to make sure that I put all my tags in. So I did that already. And um, so let me finish up potting these. And then I'll show you the finished result. <music> my dahlias down here. These are the ones that I'm trying to root and these are the ones that I've got to separate today. Like I said, lots on our plate. We are at potting our cucumbers, cabbage, alyssum. Oh, well hello Baloo. Go back up bud. And our Mexican sunflowers and some um, marigolds. 
and Blue wants to be in the middle of it, don't you, Blue? Okay, guys, it is about 7.30, close to 8 o'clock at night here. Um, I finally got most of my stuff done. Um, I've got the onions planted, and I've got the bird netting on. And what I do, I go around the bottom with my staple gun because that's the best thing that I know right now to how to get it to stay. Yes, blue, I know. But that's what I'm using, and so that helps. And then I've got extra netting and some wood stuck to it. Um, on that, let me find my... I have a little baggie that I've been keeping everything in. Let's try to... Oh, there it is. I found it. To stay organized. Um, I have... But anyway, we've got the onions going. We have got the... Broccoli is looking awesome. Look at that. Um, the dill is looking good. The peas are looking good. I'm fixing to add a couple more peas to this area because some of them are looking a little sad, but for the most part, they're looking good. My carrots are looking a little spotty, but right after I planted them, we had a real bad rainstorm, so I'm wondering if it didn't um, cover them up too much. So cross my fingers. I'm going to watch them the next couple of days, make sure that they're okay. I've got a couple coming up, but not as much as what I thought I would have. And my deal is still doing good. I haven't seen anything come up on the marigolds yet. Beets are coming up really well. Let me give you a real quick rundown in the greenhouse to show you everything that I've up potted today. I am exhausted. I used a whole, oh, how big was it? Uh, 64 quart um, bag of soil today at potting all my plants. So let me see if you can see them. It's getting unorganized in here. When I get started working, it kind of gets unorganized. But we have all of our peppers, one silly green bean that uh, green beans in me. Um, I up palleted all of my um, strawberries. Um, yarrow, majorum, rosemary, parsley, cilantro, dill, coleus, um, dill's back here. Oh, I just knocked that over. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have foxglove. This is all dill and cilantro. Um, we did cucumbers over here. Um, Cucumbers, Alyssa, Mexican sunflowers, and some cabbage. And then up here, we have some zinnias, um, marigolds, dill, um, cucumbers. Uh, one um, one lone um, cucumelon. I'm going to try that again. I know that they are very prolific, but I don't want to lose that one plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to plant more. Um, what is this? Oh, um, Mexican sunflower. <sighs> and then I still have a flat of tomatoes, cantaloupe, eggplant, bear. Cluck, 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 cluck. Get out of that. Um, and one lone black-eyed Susan. I'm like, really? What is this with the one? Thing doing anything. Anyway, so anyway, guys, this is what I've got potted up today. I think everything else is the only thing is the tomatoes and um, cantaloupe and eggplants, but those are not really big enough yet to be out here in the greenhouse. And also, it still might get a little cold for the tomatoes to be out here at night because it needs to be at least 50 degrees and I don't want to stunt their growth. But tomorrow, I will tackle getting these dahlias separated. They should have been separated weeks ago. But the other dahlias are here. I'm still trying to see if I can get those to um, root. And guys, I think I'm going to go get a Coke. <laughs> because I am exhausted. So, guys, thanks for joining me today in all the stuff I had to get done today. Make what you have beautiful.